Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Cooking with Tammy Live. I'm your girl Tammy, and today I'm gonna show you how to make my delicious honey garlic wings, guys. This recipe, absolutely delicious. It's perfect for game day. It's football season, so why not? And besides, who doesn't love wings? Especially when it has, you know, honey garlic sauce all over it. I mean, like, let's be for real, right? So we're gonna jump right in, guys, because these wings are gonna be tasty and absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. So I have to this bowl, guys, I have some wingettes and drummettes, about, let's see, 17 pieces, if I counted it correctly. <laughs> no, I'm just waiting. 17 pieces, guys. I washed them really well in salt and water. Uh, I rinsed it off a couple times, and then I pat them dry and I placed it into the bowl. I also have some ground black pepper, as well as salt, all-purpose flour, and grated ginger, honey, soy sauce, or should I say low-sodium soy sauce, minced garlic, crushed red black pepper, or should I say crushed red pepper flakes, and cornstarch, as well as some water and some oil. Alrighty guys, so without further ado, let's start cooking, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put my gloves on, guys, because we are about to mix, 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 mix. <laughs> we are about to mix this chicken and combine it with this seasoning and we're about to go all in. Alrighty, so to this bowl, of course, I'm gonna add the salt first, add the salt, as well as the ground black pepper, and I am gonna like combine both ingredients, combine it really well, combine it really well. And like I said, to this bowl, I have about 17 pieces. This is gonna be delicious, absolutely delicious, guys. What are you guys doing? What have you been up to? Did you guys have to work today? Or, or are you just chilling, taking a day off? Or you're like, listen, I'm not working. I work from home. <laughs> or you're like, what? I'm not working at all. I'm just chilling, <laughs> enjoying life, right? Anyway, guys, now that this is combined, we are going to add our all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add it, and just gonna add accordingly because I just wanna coat the chicken. Yeah, just wanna coat it. I don't wanna overdo it today. I just wanna coat it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You guys know exactly what I mean. Yes, the sauce is gonna be, whoo, the ultimate. Put it in the oil, nice and hot. Shake off the excess flour. Wings are always the way to go. Who doesn't love wings? I mean, you could do so many things with wings, from lemon pepper to Parmesan wings, to honey garlic, to barbecue, to honey. I mean, teriyaki, I mean, to just do so much with wings and of course guys if you don't have a skillet you can always use a deep fryer or what else can you use a cast iron skillet you can even what else what else you can even pop it in the oven mm-hmm all you have to do is just season it up really well put it on a baking sheet lined with foil paper put it on a baking sheet and just spray the um some non-stick cooking spray on the chicken and pop it in the oven for, I think, let me see, about 350, 400 degrees, guys. And just allow it to cook in the oven. Remove it and add your sauce, and you're done. You got some saucy chicken, and you're done. But for this particular recipe, guys, I was like, you know what? Let me just fry it. It's a little faster. Mm-hmm, much faster. So that's what we are going to do. And when you're frying chicken, guys, make sure you heat or your flame is not up too high because you don't want your chicken to cook on the outside and be raw on the inside. So you want it to be like on a medium flame so that way your chicken could take its time and cook in internally as well as brown outside nicely as well. You don't want to get fooled. Your chicken is brown outside and it's raw inside. That's not cool. You don't want to get sick. Of course not. Ba -da -ba -da 
<laughs> like I was saying guys, you don't want to disturb the chicken too much. You want to allow it to do its thing. Once you realize the outside part of the chicken starts to brown around the edges, then you could make the attempt to maybe turn it over and check it out and see what's going on. Yep, so like I was saying, if you don't have a pan like this, you can always use a, a deep fryer or a skillet, cast iron skillet, get the job done. However, if you're using a pan like this, listen carefully, <laughs> try not to fill the pan or the skillet with too much oil because you don't want to put too much food in there and then the oil overflows and goes into the flame. You don't want to, trust me, you don't want to do that. That's going to cause problems. So be, be careful. Put just enough oil, yes, to submerge your food in the, into the oil, but not too much to cause the overflow. And that's basically it. <laughs> I say it because I don't want you guys to run into any problems. None whatsoever. Cooking is supposed to be fun, not dangerous. <laughs> All right, seems like it's doing something, something. Let me check, let me be nosy and check, take a peek and see what's going on. All righty, got some more time in this hot oil cause it ain't done yet not finished yet so yes guys I am gonna brown up this chicken or should I say fry this chicken and I'll be right back I'll be right back ah! I'll be right back guys <laughs> don't you go nowhere and I am removing the last pieces of fried chicken from the oil guys yes now tell me if they don't look absolutely gorgeous guys mm-hmm absolutely delicious anyway guys we are going to get started on making our delicious sauce yes so these wings could be nice and what guys nice and saucy <laughs> absolutely absolutely nice and saucy guys all right so i'm just going to set this pan here guys and let's see we are going to measure out one third cups of honey However, I don't want my honey sticking to this cup, guys. I want to be precise with my measurements, but I don't want the honey sticking to the cup. So a trick is to put a little oil or nonstick spray in the cup, just like so, and put your honey in there. And once you pour it out, it should not be a problem. <laughs> it should just glide right out of the cup, guys. Just glide right on out the cup with no problem. Let's see. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Alrighty. That's enough. And let's add it to the measuring cup. And just like I said, no problem. That's a little trick, guys. We're also going to add the ginger. I have some grated ginger as well as some low sodium soy sauce. Who needs regular soy sauce? I mean, if you have regular, just use it because I added salt and pepper to the chicken already anyway, so yeah. As well as a little bit of red chili flakes, some minced garlic, and some water, as well as some cornstarch. And we, are going to combine all of the ingredients together just like so give it a good mix <laughs> honestly it took no time to fry that chicken up guys literally like I did two batches so probably about 15 20 minutes it didn't take any time at all about 15 20 minutes all right, guys, we are going to add the sauce to this pan. And we are going to allow the sauce to do what, guys? Reduce and thicken up. So we are going to stir our sauce, make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom. 
And as you can see so far, our sauce is bubbling up, it's simmering really nicely. And that's all part of the reduction process. Once that sauce simmers, you know that it's doing what it's supposed to do. And you're gonna see less sauce in a second. And what's gonna happen is the consistency is gonna change and the sauce is gonna uh, slightly thicken up. And besides, we added the cornstarch and the honey, so those two factors are gonna cause the sauce to thicken up a bit. To thicken up slightly. Yes, guys. Mm, the smell is amazing. I smell everything. The ginger, of course, the chili flakes. You can definitely smell the garlic. It smells so good. But the garlic, let me see. It has like a sweet smell, based, you know, basically because of the honey and stuff. So the two together, the garlic, the ginger, and the honey, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing smell. Mm, mm, mm. I can't wait, guys. Trust me, I can't wait. And of course, I started off with like 17 wings, but you're not gonna tell nobody, guys. I have about probably like 14 wings left. After I was finished frying the wings, as I was frying them, I was like literally eating them. <laughs> and I gotta be honest, they were like so nice and crispy. <laughs> the perfect texture. The meat was nice and, nice and moist, and the out, outer, uh, outer part of the um, chicken was so crispy. I was like, oh my God. I could literally do an ASMR with these wings. The sound was like, like none other. <laughs> All right, we are getting there, guys. Consistency starting to thicken up. You see it, right, guys? It's not as runny as it was when we first started. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I can't wait, guys. I'm so excited. I can't wait, honestly. And when you're making your sauce, make sure you keep an eye on it. Stay close to it, you know what I mean? Just make sure everything is good. Just stir it, just like I'm doing. And just watch the consistency change and just take in all of the amazing aroma, guys. You don't have to leave the sauce unattended. Just stay put and just keep stirring. And before you know it, it's gonna be time to do what? Test it out. Check the consistency and add those what? Those lovely wings, guys. Add it in. Add it. Add it. And add it. You hear me? Just add those wings and get those wings nicely coated with the sauce. Jesus. Ah! Absolutely amazing. I'm just going to add everything to the sauce. We want our wings to be saucy. We don't want no dry wings. With a little bit of seasoning sprinkled on top. I'm about to lose a pan. We don't want no dry wings with a little bit of seasoning sprinkled on top. What you think this is? Mm -mm. We want saucy wings, guys. Saucy. Mm-mm-mm. At this point, guys, I know this thing is hot because this, oh boy, this sauce is like syrup. But ask me if I care. I don't care. I want to taste it, guys. I want to taste it. I want to taste it. Honey, garlic, wings, my loves. Honey, garlic, wings. Nothing better than some honey, garlic, wings. Mm. I don't even think you need like an additional condiment like, you know, with this. Honestly, like ranch sauce, blue cheese, I don't even think that's necessary. I really don't. Now maybe um, make, you know, maybe some extra sauce placed on the side as like for extra dipping purposes. But other than that, I don't think we need any additional sauce, guys. I really don't think so. Mm, mm, mm. All right, it's that time, guys. No, it's not taste test time. I wish it was. But it's actually time to plate, guys. It is time to plate. All right, I'm going to place it right here. Get rid of all this stuff. 
all of this unnecessary stuff. Because it's plating time. Look at how beautiful. Look at how beautiful. And every wing is like perfectly coated with the sauce. Place it right here. Oh, they look so good, right guys? They look so good. Mm -mm -mm. I am so tempted. <laughs> so tempted. yourself right in there right there Woo! Woo! <laughs> mm, mm, mm. all right so now that everything is plated and looking amazing and smelling so delicious I am just going to take a little parsley and sprinkle it on for decoration. Gotta be decorative. Yes, 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 guys. And I am going to jump right in. I don't care if it's hot or not. <laughs> not telling you you should eat hot chicken, but I can't wait. I'm just built that way. I can't wait. So. Should I take a wing it or a drum it piece? Or, or should I say flat, not wing it, flat or drum? You know what, I'm gonna go for the drum. I'm gonna go for the bass line. I'm gonna go for the drum, Hey. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. Hear that crunch, guys? Guys, the only thing I have to say to you <laughs> is you have to make this recipe. That's the only thing I have to say to you. Make it, hit me up in the comment section and let me know what you think because goodness gracious, absolutely delicious. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. This is so good. It's so good. I just want to like literally eat the bone. No joke. Not even joking. Mm -mm -mm. I want to eat the bone. That's how good it is. I mean, all the flavors. You could taste the ginger. You could taste the slight hint of red chili flakes i mean you can always add more if you want to but i didn't want it to be too too spicy but it's not even spicy because i add just a small amount like i said and you can taste like the slight hint of garlic you just taste everything you taste in the sweetness from the honey the sauce is absolutely amazing once again guys these are my honey garlic wings definitely give it a try guys let me know in the comment section what you think and of course for all precise measurements and cooking instructions guys be sure to head where of course, cooking with Tammy Dot recipes, and I got you. Man, you're gonna, ooh, once, ooh, I can't even talk right now, guys. Once you make this recipe, you are gonna be like, woo, delicious. Better yet, you're gonna be like, woohoo! <laughs> That's how good these wings are, guys. And like I said, game day is like in full effect. You know what I mean? Game season is in full effect. So why not make yourself some delicious garlic honey wings, guys? And as always, thank you so much for tuning in and chilling with me i really appreciate it and as always thank you so much and i will catch you in another video i'll talk to you guys later bye <laughs>